What's going on everybody, it's Carmine from Barmine Tech, and today we're going to be talking about Proxmox Data Center Manager. So last week Proxmox released a stable version of Data Center Manager. We are on version 1, and the current build is 1.01. .01. This is a huge advancement for Proxmox. The Data Center Manager, if you're not familiar, was to act as more of a vSphere client similar to how vmware had and with all the changes in the last year with broadcom vmware and all the drama over there proxmox has really stepped up to make their virtual environment more available and ready for the enterprise space and this is where the data center manager really came into play because this was the last piece of software that it seemed that they really needed they've made a ton of advancements in the last year we've made several videos on all the updates and changes they've made and today we get to make one on the stable release that's it's ready to use. So if you have previously used Data Center Manager and you are interested in doing this to manage your devices instead of clustering them, it's all ready to do now. And today we're going to go over it a little bit. I also want to mention that with the help of a little chat GBT, I was able to figure out how to unlink my old node from my old Data Center Manager that I don't have anymore. And I was able to join to a new one. I don't know if it was a software change that happened in the updates of the virtual environment and the new Data Center Manager, but I was also able to remove a token that was used to link it to the original Data Center Manager, which we'll talk about today. And I'll show you those steps. So if it works for you, it works for you as well. Let's get right into some of the changes that were applied and then we'll get into data center manager some more. So over here is the release notes and pretty much it's just going over the basics like they do on most of the releases. But if we scroll down over here, we start to get some of the new features. The big features are is that we got new capabilities of data center manager that we didn't previously have. They began to integrate the SDN that they've been using in the other softwares like the VE and the Proxmox backup server. They have better support for remotes. Remotes are considered your nodes that you're actually connecting to the data center manager. So this would be stuff like your virtual environment nodes as well as your Proxmox backup server nodes. And yes, you can connect Proxmox backup server to the data center manager now. We have views, so you kind of make different dashboards to see certain data that you would like. We have better authentication methods, so we're integrating with LDAP and two-factor authentication and some other ones as well there's access roles and access lists and they really lock down on the authentication for users to get into the data center manager for new setups you have better support for zfs on linux and different hardware now i did a in-place upgrade so if you go and do a fresh install you're going to have a different installer i would assume and then we over here we have some other stuff like the bootloader got some updates and certificate manager as well as some of the daemons and some more command line tools we're going to hop over into my data center manager in a minute. I just want to talk about a couple more things. This is over here is the official release. If I come over here to this page, one more thing I want to talk about is if you are running enterprise or maybe you are a home user that has a license, if you already have a license for a virtual environment, from my understanding and based off this, you're going to get support already. So right here we say it's already included in existing enterprise subscriptions. So, like I said, if you are somebody who has like an enterprise or one of the commercial licenses for, for Proxmox VE, your data center manager which is included, which is a very nice touch from the Proxmox team to help with that. Again, over here is just some of the key features of the update we pretty much just covered. Big one being that you can integrate backup server now. This is something new, and I'm pretty sure this is something that VMware didn't have in their version of vSphere. So that's cool to see because now we can manage everything out of one central pane. So enough of the updates, let's go over into Data Center Manager. You can see over here, I'm on my dashboard. Now I joined all of my nodes last night so they can start to get some new data. And you can see that here I am starting to get some data flowing through here. Pretty much if we come over here on the left, it's pretty similar to any of your Proxmox environments. Up here we have those views that we were just talking about. And here is a quick container view I was messing with last night. I don't really know what I'm doing just yet because I haven't had a ton of time to mess with it, but we can kind of come over here and make custom views. So if I edit this, I can come over here and I can add widgets and we have all these different kind of data trackers and other information we could see and we can go over here and make custom widgets. I can also make new views as well. So if I come to the views tab, I can come over here and just make a new one. So if I want to monitor certain things, I can and I could have a specific view to do so. Other than that, we have our configuration, nothing too new over here. We do have some capabilities for two factor. 
We also have the access control tab where we're going to have our additional privileges for two factor. And this is where we could also set up for different kind of users. So like I said, they did add capabilities for LDAP and similar. So you can now use LDAP and some other authentication methods to get into your data center manager. There is a subscription available now because we are out of beta. I don't currently have a subscription. I am on the community version, but if you do have a subscription for the virtual environment, you could enter it here. Same thing. We have our dashboard over here for a minute administration nothing too much to see we have our SDN and our EVPN similar to what we've seen in the other distributions of Proxmox and then down here we have our remotes so down here is where we actually will connect our nodes to our host this is over where we would actually connect our nodes to the data center manager so we can manage them through here now these all my nodes over here are already clustered together so this is why i only have three this is why over here you can see i have mini lab mac minis and bar mine tech because they're already clustered together so i guess it's able to pull all the data through there but we're able to manage the devices i can come over here and i can push updates through here if i want that's just the normal i don't have an update uh, I don't have a subscription window and then I can come over here and I can see that I have some updates and I can push them right through there and it looks like it'll open it up and push it through there. If I come over to the node itself, I can break it down a little bit more and I can have a more granular view of what's going on. Now, being that everything is joined together, it shows you your overall storage. I don't have 13 terabytes available on the bar mine tech server. So it must just group everything between all the nodes. Like you can see over here, it's saying I have 37 physical cores and 28 threads. Same thing, it's grouping everything up. But through here, I'm able to power on and migrate and do everything we were previously able to much better being that we're on a stable version. We're actually able to monitor and manage the backup server now through Data Center Manager, which is a really nice touch because now we can actually have everything in one central pane without having to have multiple windows and jumping back and forth. Same thing as the VE nodes, I can come over here, I can push out some updates. I can actually come over here and I can manage some of my backups so I can come and see, you know, everything's good. My tests are working because I have verified jobs and we can come over here and we can just administer the backup server as well. I need to sort out what's going on with the mini lab. Something seems to not be working fully with it. So what we can do is we can come over here and we can remove mini lab. I know I mentioned earlier how I wanted to show how you can remove a node from the data center manager. I'm in the wrong server. And if I go over into mini lab, I could do so so I could just open up a shell really quickly so I like I mentioned earlier I was kind of able to prompt chat GPT in a way to get some of the info that would help with this and there is these tokens that get linked between data center manager and Proxmox virtual environment now I don't know if when you do some updates and the the data center manager moved from beta to the stable version if it kind of gets around this but the issue that I had was I set up the data center manager in alpha, the other alpha, the beta, and because it linked already to my nodes, you weren't able to remove that link from the virtual environment side from my understanding. It had to be done from the data center manager side. I didn't have the data center manager VM anymore because I deleted it. So I wasn't able to go back in there and remove my node. This was still an issue that I had. And after prompting ChatGPT a little bit, I was able to find some answers and this worked and I was able to join my node back. So I'm going to open up a shell and then we'll kind of go through these steps and I'll show you how this works. So I just have a shell open up to my Proxmox server and the first thing we're going to do is run this first command up here. So it's just going to be pveum user token list root at pam. And now if I make this a little bit bigger, you can see that here's that token and this is what the link is that we actually need to remove. So I'll just kind of come over here and this is going to be our next command that we need to copy. I'm going to paste that in there. And now this token ID where it's in the carrots, this is going to be whatever this value is over here. So like for me, it's going to be PDM, tag admin, tag DCM. Now I can remove that link. So now if I come back up to the list command, you can see everything's gone. It does suggest restarting the cluster and services. I don't know if that's really going to work because I, it's not really fully through the cluster. And if I come back over here, data center manager, we did remove it. So I'm going to try to add the host back. So you can see over here, it's just kind of prompting everything up. And I'm just going to delete these because they are already joined. And I'll just click finish. And now Minilab is joined back up over here. It just popped back up here on the nodes. And you can see now we're actually getting our data query through. That would kind of be how we can remove that old link and set it up to link it back to a new data center manager. Now, of course, that was just my fix that I found off ChatGPT. I'm 
pretty certain it's not going to break anything else because it was just a token link for a data center manager. Of course, if you want to double check anything, you can. If you have a better solution, comment it down below because we're all about helping each other here. But that's how data center managers are going to work for the most part. I mean, these are all of our new features. Again, like you can see, I can kind of push some updates and I have this one already signed in. So I'm curious to see how this is going to work. So if I do this and I'd hit upgrade, looks like it still just opens up a new tab and I still need to log in again. So I guess there'll be some bugs that still need to get worked out. I don't know if that ha that's working as intended. Uh, I guess it would make sense because it's not going to jump across tabs and kind of do like some cross site stuff. But this is the new version of Data Center Manager. I'm really excited to see this continue to be developed. I know a lot of people are showing interest in it. They don't want to have to cluster all their nodes to work together. And now over here, we can have one central pane without having to cluster everything. And we can manage everything through here. So like I was saying, that's Prosmox Data Center Manager. We are now on a stable version. And I am looking forward to having more updates like this. There is a possibility going forward that I might end up breaking up my cluster a little bit and join everything through here when I do know that this is going to be a, a solid way to manage all my nodes. In the past, this is why I would have clustered my nodes to have more central management. And now we're kind of getting to a point where I really don't need to. I could have kept my Mac minis in their cluster, and then I would join the mini lab, the bar my tech server, and my mini backup server all into a data center manager to run through there. But we'll see what the future of this software brings. Like I said, I, I am hopeful for it. The Proxmox team has been killing it on updates lately. And like I said, this all ties back to having to compete with VMware. So they really need to get this software up to snuff so the enterprise side of the market will continue to use their products. I do know there's been a big push lately to move from VMware to Proxmox, and this is going to be one of those things that's really going to help the drive. But that's enough of that. I want to thank you all for watching. I'll have links to the Data Center Manager update notes below, as well as the other site for the roadmap. I'll have links to all the gear in my home lab down below if you ever want to check any of it out. I'll have a link to the Discord server if you want to join up over there and chat with everybody in there. As always, I want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and as my buddy Don would say, hack till it hurts.